Everyone has thought about quitting their job and never working again for the rest of their life. And sure, it would be fun if you could do it, but what if everyone did the same as you and just suddenly quit their jobs? I quit! How could something like this happen? How would nobody working affect our lives? And why could we see this happening in the future? This is what if, and here's what would happen if everyone stopped working. Although jobs do provide income and a sense of purpose, they can sometimes do more harm than good. Nearly 83% of workers in the United States suffer from some kind of work-related stress. So maybe an enforced break from work, even if it's caused by something like a pandemic, could do us all some good. But even in that case, we still have essential workers doing their jobs. So instead, what if everyone, even essential workers, stopped going to work? If everyone decides to get up and leave their jobs one day, it would be complete chaos. You probably wouldn't notice the social media bloggers, tech startups, even the what if team leaving our jobs. The reason you wouldn't notice would be because you'd have bigger problems to worry about. With no one working, your water would stop running. You'd lose your internet connection and your power would go out. If everyone stopped working, you wouldn't be able to just sit on your couch and relax. And going on vacation wouldn't be a possibility either. Instead, you'd be worried about surviving. That's because people would be looking for food wherever they could which means that looting would begin. And one of the scariest parts of all? Who's to stop anyone from doing this? The police would be taking time off as well. It's safe to say that there would be a massive spike in crime. Everyone would be free to do whatever they want. Riots and destruction would occur in the streets. It would be a world without rules. Pretty quickly, the world would look completely different than what we had before. Without city workers, garbage would start to crowd our streets. And after a couple of weeks, we'd notice even more issues. Without any sanitation workers, our streets would begin to overflow with backed up sewage. One good side effect from all this madness would be that, if it lasted long enough, our climate would bounce back. With people not driving, factories out of commission, and airplanes grounded, the Earth would be able to take a nice break from all that pollution. Now, hopefully after everyone has gotten all this chaos out of their system, it would be time for humanity to rebuild. Farms would pop up and people would start to grow their own food. Instead of people doing things for money or maybe societal reasons, people would start to follow their passions. Lots of people would become artists and musicians and galleries and concerts would begin to pop up. The world would also adjust to a new bartering system that would involve goods instead of money. For a while, it would be a simpler period for humanity, almost as if we went back in time. People would start to work together and communities would form. And as this happened, people would begin to work at essential jobs. This wouldn't be for money though, instead it would be in hopes of restoring society to what it once was potentially what it could be in the future. If all this went according to plan, society could bounce back and be better off for it. People would be doing jobs for the betterment of society in hopes of restoring what we once had. And for the jobs that humans don't want to do, we could invent robots to do them for us. Robots already help today with some automation, but them being an even larger part of the workforce is a possibility. And it might not stop there. Robots taking over all our jobs is something that could happen. But before you get ready to fight the robocalypse, this could be a good thing. That's because with robots doing all the work for us, we'd have more time to do the things we want to do. This could lead to a universal basic income where everyone is given money to live on due to robots having the majority of jobs. So now, since you don't have to work, what would you do? 
start your dream project, travel, or just hang out on the couch. Now, instead of robots doing all the work, what if they decided to take over? Well, we'll leave that story for another What If.